OK, use the square root property to solve these equations. Right, x squared equals 12. So if I square root both sides, don't forget, when you square root, you actually get this. The square root of x squared is plus or minus the square root of 12. Please don't forget that. OK, so we have x equals plus or minus root 12. OK, so... Here we go. What is plus or minus root 12? We can write 12 like this. Root 4 with a root 3. Of course, that is 2 root 3. So plus 2 root 3 or negative 2 root 3, okay, is the answer to that. Okay, here, this one here. If I take away 9 from both sides, it will now look similar to the previous one, except we are going to square root a negative. So remember the letter I, okay? So the square root of negative 9, x equals plus or minus 3i, and that is the answer. If I square root both sides, okay? Don't forget the plus and minus. Right, finally, this one down here. Again, square root both sides. If I have x minus 6 squared and I square root it, I will get x minus 6. If I have 4 and I square root it, don't forget the plus or minus, all right? x minus 6 equals plus or minus 2. If you add a 6 to both sides, you will get x equals, right, 2 plus 6 equals 8, and negative 2 plus 6 equals 4, and those are my two answers.